When we were young, we were taught never to talk to or take candy from strangers. Well, Mississippi State sports fans are beginning to reconsider this notion. His name is Ron Caulfield and is arguably the Bulldogs' biggest fan. Well, since we've got to know Ron in the last two or three years, he seems to be the best cheerleader Mississippi State's ever had. We just enjoy having him at the, at the ball game. What makes Caulfield a unique super fan? He always carries a bag of candy around to share with other fans and says it helps them get into the game. The candy man. People want to holler for the, the candy man, but they don't want to be the first ones to holler. So it takes one little nut or crazy person to get it going. At a game at Duty Noble during the 2000 baseball season, a Texas A&M fan suggested he throw candy to the fans. Caulfield, affectionately known as the candy man, hesitantly took the advice. You just try to get the kids involved and what surprised me is that the adults got more involved than the kids. It brings a lot of good candy and it makes a lot of people kind of happy with the candy. It doesn't matter who or how old you are, the candy man does not discriminate. I like the candy man because he's like the Santa Claus, but he doesn't. He brings candy every day. Candy man has sweet candy and um, he gives it us for free and it's so delicious. You can grab as, as much as you want. The next time you see a child chewing the fat, or bubblegum with a certain adult at a Mississippi State sporting event, there's no cause for worry. He's an exception to the rule. He's our number one bulldog here at the So the kids understand now that you don't take the candy from strangers except for one person. That's the candy man of Mississippi State. The candy man estimates he spends about $2,000 on candy each year. Now that's a big league bellyache, but a small price to see sweet smiles on children's faces. For Take 30, I'm Brian Champlin.